The Tacoma City Council recently passed a temporary ordinance that gives renters more notice that their rental agreement is ending when the landlord issues eviction notices due to a change of use, substantial renovation, or demolition of the dwelling. Here to discuss the ordinance with us is Sergio Flores, the Employment Standards Manager for the City of Tacoma. Hi, Sergio. Welcome to the show. Hello, and thank you for having me. Absolutely. It is a pleasure. Well, we're glad to have you here. Um, so, Sergio, tell us, how does the ordinance impact landlords in Tacoma? The new law requires that landlords who have month-to-month -month rentals provide a 90-day written notice to their tenants before ending a month-to-month -month rental agreement if the unit will be demolished, changed in use, or substantially renovated. Okay. So are there any landlord-tenant meeting requirements? There, there is, and, that's, and thank you for asking. That's a really good point. Um, before the landlord provides the 90-day notice, the landlord is also required to have at least 10 days that notice is given to the tenant, a landlord-tenant meeting. Uh, and the law also requires that at least seven days before that meeting, the landlord provi provides their, the tenant a, uh, at least seven days notice of that meeting. So seven days, seven days before the meeting, a notice must be given, then the meeting, and then 10 days after the meeting, the 90-day notice must be given to the tenant. All right, awesome. So Sergio, can you explain to our viewers a little bit about what change of use means? Absolutely. Change of use is the conversion of a dwelling unit, such as an apartment, mm -hmm. from residential to non-residential, or from residential to a different type of residential use. For example, converting an apartment building uh, to a uh, retirement home. Uh, another type of change in use would be converting a, an apartment building, a residential unit, to a temporary hotel um, so those, those are the types of um, change in use. Thank you. And so for the renters, what are the tenants, what would they do if they had a complaint? If the tenants have a complaint, they can call our office. Uh, the easiest way to do it is to um, call 311. Just dial 311 and that phone call will be routed to our office and we will open uh, we will do an intake interview and then open an investigation if there is reason to believe that the law has been violated. Okay, great. Well, that has been some very helpful information. I know it's been a, a bit of a challenge for a lot of the tenants who are, who are dealing with this issue right now. So we certainly appreciate everything that the council has done and your office. And so we, we look forward to hearing more about the upcoming changes to this, this issue. So thank you so much for coming on the show. We appreciate Absolutely. you. Absolutely, thank you for having me. Up next, we'll find out more about the city's plan to address affordable housing.